next to me I trust it. is the smartest man in any room he walks Over into <laughs> that I'm not in. He's Bruce the Blog. Thank goodness for small favors. And he's Bazo, and you're watching Bruce the Blog goes Bazo. Good evening, everybody. We got a good show tonight. So anyway, if you just sit there looking like statues, they're going to... Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Bruce the Blog Goes Bazo. And, and Bazo, apart from being the whatever he said, and I don't even want to—I don't want to repeat it. No, I'm, I already forgot it. <laughs> um, sometimes senility is a good thing. Uh, we do have uh, two very special guests today, and, and we're very appreciative to have here with us uh, Yorktown Supervisor Michael Grace, who we talk about on the show, and now he's actually here, sitting with us, and. Yorktown Highway Department Superintendent Eric D. Bartolo. Thanks, You're fellas, not for being here. With right. that right. name. I no. can't help. No, you. actually, I was going to say people who don't live in Yorktown would know Eric because you're the go-to guy I know on News 12, right? When they when they want an expert, they always right. have Eric on talking about whether it's snow removal or, or any other topic about uh, I you know, the highway department. I think we should department. do the homework right. first right. because I remembered something you said last week. So our right. sponsor, then yeah. is, we got a shameless Thank promotion. You. Thank you, Bazo. I don't know what I would do if you weren't here, except I'd well, be talking this, more. This 30 so. minutes is going to go faster. We've <laughs> right. got two guests. Right. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay, right. Uh, anyhow. That's why he's the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> I guess so. Because he can count to two. Uh, anyhow, we're brought to you by the Penny Saver and uh, Chase it. Media Group. And we thank Carla Chase and Frank Rich for putting us up here and putting up with us. <laughs> as and you, as, as our can local say. author. Right. right. And yes, and, and Frank Rich is a novel, Raising Father, which we've mentioned. And we've had him on the show. And... You can go to RaisingFather.com to find out more about that. And we also want to mention, because Cecilia, who is the public access coordinator and does a great job, uh, she has, a, uh, you know, everybody has uh, pet charities or more than one pet charity, and we like to help out Cecilia that on September 30th, uh, the Step Out Walk to Stop Diabetes uh, Westchester is taking place at the Mercy College Dobbs Ferry Campus, and you can go to uh, diabetes.org to find out more about that. Also, you have a shameless promotion that yeah. you mentioned at the end of last week's show. Yes, I do. Well, thanks for reminding me, Bazzi. You yeah, said you right, were going right, to talk about it this right, week. Right. No, no, no. Okay, just very quickly, uh, before we get to our guests, August 24th, 25th, 26th at the Hendrick Hudson Library in Montrose uh, is something called the Hand to Mouth Players Playwright uh, Director's Workshop. They're one-act plays. Uh, there's six one-act plays from five minutes to like 25 minutes. And somebody who's sitting here, you can figure out who it is, is in one of them. <laughs> so that's why we're promoting it. We're oh plugging boy. it. I play Clarence the Angel. Remember, it's a wonderful oh, life. Yeah. yeah. So it's sort of like a twist on Clarence the Angel from It's a Wonderful Life. And thanks, Bazo, for reminding and me. And one more thing. Bruce goes Bazo on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah. Well, you already said it. Okay. Yes, but friend us and like us and right. have a good time. Right. Now, can I go with the first no, not, question? Not here? that we're needy or anything. Can no. I go with the first question? Yeah, loves? but by the way, I just want to go back and say more information on the shameless promotion. It's htmplayers.com to find out hand to mouth players. Go ahead. There are two issues that are making the news uh, almost every week. One is whether Eric's position should become appointed as highway superintendent or remain elected. The other one is the Holland Sportings Club. I watched the town board meeting last night. That was fun. It, it, it Four o'clock in the morning, but, but, I watched but you, that but, but you, it Was the audio and, and video? No, no, it? not no. at all. Uh, but that was even <laughs> better because we had a couple of beers so we couldn't tell. Well, it, was a, it reminded me of a Japanese horror movie. <laughs> but, it, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, I'm... It's badly I'm, dubbed. I'm, wait, wait. But before, <laughs> as you know how I am with my journalistic training on yes, background, I want to establish that uh, Michael Grace is the first term supervisor of Yorktown. I mean, the show goes out way beyond Yorktown. Yes. I want to yeah. establish, uh, and you're in what, the s eighth month of your first term, being yeah. calendar 2012. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and, you were the he did. And, he, and you were the town attorney for how long, Michael? 16? Oh, I know. Uh, yes, it's a long time. Well, I said yeah. you have mentioned that you had done various things for the town over 16 years, yeah. so you were familiar with the government operations. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And now uh, you've been with the highway department. Yeah. For, uh, how just many years? For, for, with the highway department. 1996, I was elected. I no, was how long have you been with the highway department? It, 96. I was with Parks prior to that. I've oh, been okay. The, I've been okay, with okay. the town of Yorktown as a whole for 24 years. That's what I meant. Okay. And so how many... Uh, how many times have you been elected, Eric? It's a um, four-year term. It's a, right? When I first started, it was a two-year term. So the first time, first run around, I oh. went for two years. The second was two years, and then it's been four ever since. Was changed okay. under whose administration? Linda Cooper. Okay. They yeah, passed that the, the same. They the right. they passed at the same time. They passed the thirty dollars tax for uh, open space. Because they knew that it was going to be an overwhelming vote for highway superintendent, so they tucked in the the uh, open space vote, and everybody came out and. That's how they so what, what was the open space vote? It was thirty. Uh, this, is a, this is that. This is that per capita flat fee for open space fund oh, to purchase. Oh, and oh that goes to the land trust, right? Ah, the, well, don't get me started on that. Okay, all right. I, it, it's a whole other discussion. <laughs> all right. it's, 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 it's it's not I, to I'm me. In my opinion, if I put my legal hat on, it's right. not, it's not legal and it's superfluous to what we could have done anyhow. So why don't you get rid okay. of it? Right. Uh, well, you know, uh, you, I'm going to tell you. You know, you know that you, you know what the town of Yorktown accumulatively uh, uh, takes in on that open space fund. I think it's five hundred thousand dollars a year. Oh, mm, which happens dollars, to right, be about two and a half percent of a tax levy. Right. If you would talk there you about go. it. So right. the thing is, right. the, and and, it, and at the point in time that they passed it, that was the cause du jour. Right. So that kind of can it, it be undone? Well, uh, you know, they're, 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 you know, look, that's that's a very long story, and uh, and uh, you know, one one of the things that I'm we're looking into is basically now is just auditing the open space that we have. You can't believe the amount of space we have. In right, uh, Holland Sporting Club being one piece right. that was held for 20 years in Mohegan Lake. This tall timbers piece, which yep. is a 12 acre parcel, which is behind a fence. Granite we have, Knowles. We have Granite Knowles. We've got uh, Shallow Silver Creek, Glen. which is behind a fence. You know, you can't. I got to tell you how much parkland. Or open space the town owns that's behind a fence with signs that say no trespassing. Right. And now the and the newest newest member of that elite club is the Holland Sporting Club. In Mohegan Lake. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get over here with the DB because I'm reading yeah, no, an, I'm reading a piece of information that there are approximately fifteen hundred highway superintendents in New York State of which only fifty nine are appointed. Now I'm wow. right. I'm watching all this debate right. about appointed, and so we check with all these high. There weren't a lot of highway departments. She couldn't. They couldn't. The, the, well, okay, the, the citizens I, again to step or a DPW to step could back. have checked right. with. We have to again. We have to establish right. for people who don't live in Yorktown, uh, or right, people who live in Yorktown and aren't paying attention to this committee. Right. There's citizens for a DPW, which is a. A uh, very vocal group of citizens. How many does anybody know? Handful. Uh, a handful. Yeah. yeah, we don't know how many, right? No, well, I think that, I, 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 just I, I, let me. So, if people yeah. want, you could go online to the Yorktown, uh, uh, town of Yorktown website. Go to the videos. You go to July twenty seventh. You can see the July twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Right. Then right. you'll see the entire the presentation board meeting. Mm -hmm. that that that. They, the, the Yorktown supervisor and the board granted them to present their right. case. It's three and a half hours, the entire presentation. Well, as well as department heads. It's a public... Well, I, 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 right, right. Right. I, you know, I'm going to tell you what was disappointing, and one reporter actually mentioned it to me, was that uh, we gave the Citizens for DPW, this group, the opportunity to be heard. Um, they didn't come up with a lot, uh, uh, you know, very, very little, and then we had all the department heads there so that they could question the department heads so they could understand what the department heads do and what each department does do because what you're doing is you look there their advocacy is a little bit interesting you know you have to put it in perspective they uh, call themselves citizens for DPW so the idea would they want a department of public works right the they push it or they had been pushing it based upon the fact that they claim there was a certain savings of approximately two hundred fifty thousand right. dollars a year. Right. So I think the board was very receptive to listen to what they had because if you can really show me how we can save two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, I think the board was all ears. Um, what they wrapped up in that is then um, it, because, because it's interesting because it's based upon what they now claim uh, after the after the meeting, but they wrapped into that that they can't have this DPW or and the two hundred fifty thousand dollars savings unless. 
they get rid of the highway superintendent as an elected okay, position. Okay, now I want to stop right. you because we got Eric here. Now, I contended when I spoke before you that that wasn't true, that it, the recent history of Yorktown showed you can have a consolidation, an elected highway superintendent, and still show a savings. Yeah. The question was always how much. Nobody denied that there wasn't savings yeah, at that, that time. But that's not even the issue. Supervisor Grace has, has gone on record many times saying they're two separate issues. Right, but you don't need to do one, right, right. to do the other. I right. accept that, but right. Eric was there right. to say this was possible, correct? Because yeah. you were ahead of the <laughs> labor relations, I believe, they, in 2007 they created that position. That's correct. Alice Roker, when she got in in term, when Linda Cooper, the had town left, clerk, the right. town clerk, right. we uh, we moved ahead with the director of labor operations, and that was strictly for um, labor. It wasn't to run all the departments, and it it worked out. We were sharing services. Wasn't now, that where the savings comes from, though? Most definitely. But now let's move forward now. Uh, what, to wait, one, wait one second. Go one ahead. second. But the shared service, your argument and the board's argument at the time was the parks people during the winter and the, and the highway people during the summer to be able to move them from well, place to place. Well, Andy, you need to understand when the past administration came in, 2009. They met in November as soon as they were elected and knew in their minds they had their sights on eliminating director of labor operations. I did they not. They ran on that. And I did not know anything. I went to the first town board meeting to find out that they had a gentleman sitting in the audience that was taking over the water department. It was done, it was finished, and they were all excited about that. Terrific. Okay, now we move forward two years. Okay, now. Supervisor Grace comes in and we start to talk what's going on, what's happening. It has been the smoothest operation for me in the last day. I don't even want to say for me, for the department heads, because no longer are we pinning one department head against the other. Okay? We get a phone call, Eric, we need to do this. Brian, we need to do this. Yeah, that with Donnie Peters, do I remember. Right, and Donnie did it also. It's like what Donnie that's was what doing. That's what we met. Right, that's what Donnie was doing. That's what we're doing now. It's to trust in your department heads, and it's to bring everybody together, okay? At the end of the day, when this committee came forward, and, and the supervisor, and hats off, because he put, it, put us together to make sure we have our facts and our figures, and I said, if there was a savings, I'm all in favor. We pay we all pay taxes in this town. It's right. no question. You're right. required right. to live in the right. town, correct? That's correct. As Where an a elected, DPW head would and, not. And, right. and this is, and right. you know what? Your accountability is tremendous because you know people say, oh, you know, term limits, this and that. If I don't do my job to the best of my ability, I'm done. It's right. very simple. Right. Okay, right. I don't have a town board councilman or supervisor called me up and say, look, go over there and take care of that because that's the way it has to be. I find it extremely interesting, and I said this, that the two supervisors that were most vocal had the biggest problems with the highway superintendents. You brought that right. up not only on your Grace Notes show. Right. Right. You brought that up at the actual open, the board session that dealt with this. Now, they you both, you have two uh, prior supervisors, Aaron Bach and Susan Siegel, on the Citizens for DPW, am I correct? I would say they're spearheading it. Yes. Right. 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 And you, right. Well, I, I, so I don't know, you I don't know if they're both there anymore. I think Aaron, Aaron was oh, educated. Right, right. Yeah, what yeah, I'm right. saying is you brought this up so you can educate the people that would well, well, that, that, that he's just not speaking. Right. No, the, 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 you know, Eric's point is very well taken. The, the, the idea is that, is that the, the dysfunction that may be some of the impetus between of, of Siegel's advocacy for this and Aaron's advocacy for this I think is uh, are the were the anomalies related to their administrations right um, th th and and my point is that you, you know I I if it the their feeling of dysfunction is you have to uh, you have to analyze it and say where does that lie does that lie in, in the in the structure right. of the, of the way thing the way things are structured or just it's just the personalities clash right and, and right. my point is, is that I, I don't see this as a, I, I, you, you could have a, an appointed highway, you know, there are a lot of appointed, I was an appointed town attorney for a while. I'm going to tell you, there was one time that, one, one year that I was appointed over the objection of the then supervisor, which was Linda Cooper. Right. But I had three members, I, I had, it was her second year in office, she had hired the bank's firm. The other board members were dissatisfied with it. They gave me a call, said, we're doing interviews for town attorney, but you know what, the bottom line is, you say you come back, well, you know, we want you back. And there were board members that I had worked with previously, so I came back. But it was to the chagrin of the then supervisor. So right. it, being appointed doesn't mean you don't fall into a dysfunction. 
because I'm going to tell you right now, when I was town attorney and under Cooper's administration, there was an enormous amount of dysfunction, right. even in trying to give legal advice. I wasn't, you know, the supervisor didn't, may not have advised me of certain things. And, you know, so you had, right. so the being appointed, being elected doesn't necessarily well, you mean would, that but you, but you, you had, had, he had brought up on, your, on the right. show you did with him right. about, uh, with this, th this thing about, if you say, I need blacktop, I don't want. Pl I don't have the money for black top. Don't bring it up again, or else. Well, the you know, board can say that. Right. That's right, what I'm saying. Right. This is. They, they explain that. Right. I mean, yes. I mean, you, you know. I, I think. Example. I think. You know, the the the, the, the uh, current highway superintendent is. A, you know, he's a, he's a very strong personality. There's no question about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> but but the thing is, so he's. He, you know, he he's has got his ballywick. He's got his, his. You know, his constituency, and he can be vocal about what he needs to carry out his tasks. Right. And if he were appointed, we sit there and say, you know, call him, pull him into the room and say, look, you know what? You're the highway superintendent. You're appointed. Uh, mind you, you're appointed. Right. So I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear about that. And because you and know what? There it goes. Ne next, right. next, 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 you know, and I need you. And the other problem is, he says, look, you know, I, I got, we got three board members here that we want, you know, I got, I got this guy who happens to be. You know, I need him and his constituency for my next election campaign. So you know what you where you're going to go pave? You're going to go pave over in this neighborhood. Right. I right. don't care about the people over there. Right. So your thing is, you know, you talk about you know you're, you're not eliminating what could be the politics. Making other issues. Yeah, other you're, issues. You're right. That's right. You almost you're add, well, as, you, as you as you said, Michael, well, it becomes it becomes a patronage job. Well, yeah, right, you talk right, about a hundred forty thousand dollar job right. that you that you've got right. control over. All of a sudden, you know how many right. phone calls are going to get who I want right. to have to elect. I think we could bring this into light about why elected is better. Legacy Fields. They took you. Legacy Fields was done under labor of labor operate. They pull it away, but then they needed you again. Yet. You have to face the voters. You couldn't turn your back on this. Right. Well, and I'm going right? to tell you, you're 100% right. And you know, that the day that it went down, and you know, everybody knows I have a strong personality, which I do. You know what? I'll do anything for anybody. I just heard but, that you know before. What? Somebody just said that. But they realized that it couldn't get done. And I'm going to tell you, I, I kind of was a little upset. I was real upset. And I made Susan Siegel, I still have the paper, sign the form that what I was going to do. And what Michael's saying is 100% correct. Because if, in fact, I am no longer elected by the town of Yorktown. I'm at the pleasure of the town board. They could make me run and dance and do whatever right. they want. And you know what? There is, they want to talk about accountability. At that point, there's no accountability. And I don't speak for myself. I speak for all the highway superintendents through the state of New York. Right. There is not one elected highway superintendent in the state of New York that doesn't go out in the middle of the snow and make it happen. I'm not saying that appointed people don't do it. But I know there's a there's a tight group of guys and when it snows and when there's a storm or whatever's happening, you're there. If you turn around and take that away and you say to yourself, okay, there's no longer an elected highway superintendent and the person that's going to take the job as appointed lives in Platykill, New York. Because right. he could do that. Right. But and at 3 right. o'clock in the afternoon as he's driving out of town, he shuts his phone off. Not that they would, but he can. Right. Okay. We have a storm for the weekend. It's the yeah. supervisor in the town board that's going to go crazy to make it happen. That's right. Well, yeah. that's right. And what right. said you're right. the go-to guy for right. Channel 12. Right. Because well, right. you, but right. you know what? And Channel 12 has always been good to me because we work hand in hand. But, you know, it, it, it's just, it's a, it's a very interesting thing because during this whole committee that they brought forward and how much they were going to save, and I kept saying from the beginning, and, and some of the newspapers were mad at me because I wouldn't comment, and I wanted to wait to comment until we had that meeting. Right. And, and boy, when, did you. Well, because you know what? I have the facts. I have the numbers, okay? We have, I have a great department. I have a great assistant. And, and so we had the numbers. And I invited that committee that night to please come and see me. Come sit in the office and let's compare numbers. What they were looking to do was totally destruct the highway department. The supervisor brought it up to the point where our services would be cut tremendously. So well, so it, was, it was also, you know, to me, and then one of the big issues I had with this whole thing, because they, the, the, in the last analysis, you know, the, the, I, the U and cry is what you talk. You, you talked about the right to vote, and people say, "Well, you're not giving the, you know, who the hell are you, Mr. Grace? You're one vote, and you're one person in the town of York. You're not giving everybody the chance to vote on this." And, and the idea was that I, I, the reason why I wouldn't is because I believe there was a misinformation campaign. Right. The misinformation campaign was essentially mm -hmm. started off. We're going to save you two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. We're going to do it by creating a DPW. And in order to save the two hundred fifty thousand dollars and create the DPW, we got to get rid of the highway superintendent as an elected position. That's how it pres was presented. Yeah. Low HUD had a big editorial. That's two hundred fifty thousand dollars saving. Every time it showed up uh, uh, in the media, it was prefaced with the two hundred fifty thousand dollars savings. 
When it comes down to it, that was that that was not true because their analysis was flawed, and we went through that. And I went through that in my press release. Now, what it becomes after the the, the, the savings has been debunked because it actually would cost us money, they come back and say, "No, that's not what we meant." Right. We 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 so we, we this was a concept, right? And right. then we pass we pass the concept, right? Then you guys you know, figure out where to trying, save. You're trying to nail gel right. to the wall. Right. With this the, one. The the, the, <laughs> prob the problem right. with it is, and this is what this and and this is what I I, I really it kind of gets in is a thorn in my side is that that's you you presented a campaign, right? That wasn't that you presented a very specific campaign on a very right. specific amount of savings. And that was not true. Right. And so now you're right. asking, and that was my fear. I said, now you want me to put it out to referendum. What you're doing is you've had this campaign of misinformation going on for four months. Now all of a sudden comes out. You want to come back out and say, right. let's put this on the ballot because it's not going to save us money. It's just a concept. Let's just, and, and, and maybe cost us money. And then let the Yorktown taxpayers decide. That's a different. Well, well, and the other thing, by the way, is that they haven't, uh, from what I have seen, and I know you know, Supervisor Gray's uh, put together this very detailed 10-page analysis Phenomenal. with numbers and everything you could possibly ask for to basically rebut, right, their argument. Well, they could be didactic and also they, now be seen uh, as Grace notes the 8th August 3rd show yeah. on the Yorktown. Yeah, and, and, it, was, and, and I'm going to tell you, it wasn't meant to rebut them. It was meant to say, look, this is what you're claiming. Exactly. This right. is what my analysis is. But I just want the audience to know right. they can find right. all this, yeah. what we're and talking it's also about on, uh, live. It's also on our NCN Local TV YouTube channel. Oh, it is? Channel now. Okay. Yeah. We got but, it but, but what I'm saying, what, they, what I... I I'm not aware that they've ever established is what's wrong with the way it is now. It's not broken. You know right? what's wrong with right. the way it is now, and let's play it plain and simple. Right. It's Eric D. Bartol. Well, it, I said right. my Do you feel that, that way, Eric? One hundred percent. Because everybody, they they've never they will never say that, they, right? Of the citizens not. would be. Well, so what basically both of you are saying is that the cost savings was a cover for wanting to that get rid of you. Right. Yeah, right. And, 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 and you know what, I, I think the, the, the bottom line is that a lot of their, a lot of their logic didn't, didn't, my, didn't, my, didn't, didn't follow. My, my father, right, father, didn't hold together. Right. father right. used to tell right. me, if you have to lie to make a point, you don't have a point right. to make. Right. First of all, the premise of the DPW needing the highway be appointed, that was a lie. It wasn't necessary. Right, right, right. Recent town history showed that. Number two, that there was a vendetta that they're denying. I mean, come out in the open, say what it is. Number three, by leaving him elected, you're preserving the right to vote, where they're saying you're taking it away. Right. You're actually preserving the right to vote. Well, I, I, I you know, I look, I look, I think that's a, the problem with that is is a little disingenuous in the sense that, you know, I, I, den I deny the Yorktowners a right to vote on almost that's all, the, all really the decisions I make. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's that's right. Right. But they get the right to throw no, me out when they don't like it. That's, I mean, that's representative right. democracy. Thank that's you. the right. whole definition. Right. Right. We're electing you in the red. Now, you've got three board members to side with you that you're not going to put this up for public uh, for public so hearing, four, bo four board members all together. Right. And the only, so the only person that's not... That's that's what I want to bring up. I'm reading in this uh, about this. Yeah. He's asked, Vishnu Patel has asked, should it go to a ref, uh, public hearing? He says yes. Then he's asked, do the people have enough information to make an, a, 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 an intelligent choice? And he said no. How can you do this? Because, because, and, and this is what annoys the hell out of me in the sense that, that the, the idea is saying that I am, um, the board's being undemocratic. And, and that's the allegation because we're not letting this right. go out to referendum. Right. We right. have a we have an obligation to make sure what we put out is ve well Correct. vetted. Right. Vishnu decides. Well, I just going to I'm going to go with the pitches and uh, pitches and and, and uh, torches crowd that's out there. You know, for, <laughs> you know that's late, you know saying exactly. you're undemocratic. So I'm not. And, and you know he, he wants to raise. You know his children do enormous amount. Uh, I mean they're in the services. It's all laudable and everything else. Nothing to do with anything, but he's sitting there going, well, you know, this is the right to vote. Vote, right, right to vote for what? And it's uh, you ask, we ask, already have right, the right, right to vote I for ask, him. I, I, I ask him, you know, what is if you ask him, what it is that you, what it is that you're looking to put a, to put out for reference? Vishnu is a member of the town board. He's a legislator. If he wants to propose legislation, he can do so. Right. He can he can come in and say, look, this is the legislation I want. I want you to put this on for public hearing. I don't think we've ever denied a councilman from ever pushing something forward, and everybody knows that. 
he wants to do it, he can do it. Let's see what the, the let's see what the four okay. corners of, of what he wants us to vote on. Right. Right. And this is, by the way, this is Councilman Vishnu right. Patel of Yorktown. Right. But but the other th but the other issue that we have, I really want well, to cover. I want to segue. Right. I want to segue with Vishnu. Right. That's what right. I said. So go ahead. Well, no, that's not about him. But I know, but no, know, this is a fun the board. No, there's a fundamental question I have. It's a legitimate question. I, I, it's not rhetorical. Is with the referendum process, right? Um, I mean, what is what are the regulations for a referendum? One, we already know that the town board has to approve it. So my question is, they're saying the citizens for DPW, you know, quote unquote, you're denying us our rights. And my question is, if that's the case, what's to prevent anybody from coming up to the town board and wanting to put a referendum on the ballot? And you could have 50 people asking, are you denying each of them their rights if you don't do you it? Know, Isn't I, I, that the process? Right. right. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, look, you know, uh, you know, there are very intelligent people that, that set the rules for governance in our country. Thank right. God. Right. Right. <laughs> and, 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 and all of those rules were always, always with, the, the, with the thought in mind that eventually government is corrupts. In, an, in other words, it, 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 you know, power, you know, government will is designed to grow. Right, right, yeah. and then you got to hold it in check, and and, yeah. and they have the, all these checks and balances because the, 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 our forefathers were very suspicious of the government. They came from a monarchy. They came yeah. up. They, the English, yeah, the English crown would, you know, would would go into their things or arrest them. Would put they, they were very uh, strong suspicion of governmental power. There's certain we have a, we, there's certain things that are. Under the law, the law considers very profound decisions to be made. Right, right. One is removing from the voters the ability to elect somebody for, right. and, and, and I'm going right. to tell you what's the problem with the federal government, state government, is exactly what the DPW represents, and I'm going to tell you what it is. It's what we're going to do is we're going to create administrative bodies. We're going to create regulatory <laughs> bodies, right. Right. alphabet and soup, and, right. and what we're going to do is we're not going to we're not going to legislate what they can do or can't do. We're going to legislate a concept, and then what we're going to do? Concept. We're going to <laughs> hand it over and to I the regulatory authority, and that they're going to now implement the regulations in, in order to further the intent. And what you have is now you have a bureaucrats and administrators right. creating law, and it's every everybody knows seekers state environmental quality review right. act. It, it, it is a, a it is a, a small statute in the in, in New York law. If you t the Department of Environmental Conservation got the task of creating regulations to implement Seeker, and now you have this whole other body of law right. that the legislative legislation had legislative branch of government. Never passed on. Right. right. But they but can. I, we have to start to wrap it up. Yeah. Well, we yeah, might as right, well right. stay with this yeah. topic right. here because yeah. well, we, we can't go to the next one. We don't yeah, right. have yeah, time. We have, we have two minutes. But I want to ask uh, Eric, when are you next up for election? 2013. Just what are your thoughts about I'm, running? I'm not going to be running. You're I don't wrong. believe you. I'm going to say it right here and now. I can't believe you're going to leave the arena. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. You know what? I, I, and I put it out there. Um, I've had a lot. And, and it's been really supportive for myself and my family because, you know, since my brother passed away four years ago, we've been taking on the chin pretty hard. I have my, my name. Um, but I keep fighting because, you know what, I feel I do the right thing. I get up every morning, I look in the mirror. I've had a tremendous amount of people over the last month either call the house, stop and see me, and say, you can't leave us, you can't go. Right. But you know what, right. there comes a time in everybody's life that you need to move on. And right. I'm to that point. Where do you I want to feel, move on to? You know what, there's a lot of things in the private sector I want to do. Um, I feel like I've taken it to the next level from, from where it was. I do believe that there's people out there that are much better than I am with new ideas and new concepts. And well, there I think are people that think that, and, too. And, and, and that's correct. And yeah, you the know former I, supervisor thought she was better than you. Well, yeah, she thought she ran the department, but that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> she always went for highway supervisor. She can. She can. <laughs> but I think it's time that the town of Yorktown, you know, change. Change is good. And uh, so I'm going right. to uh, be moving on to, to different things in life. I'll believe it um, when I see it. I okay. think right. two years is and, 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 we, and, we and I yeah. just quickly yeah. though, yeah, ahead, to right. be honest with you, uh, the only drawback that I have for for not going is uh, is the the town board that's there now, with the exception of one person. And I have no problem letting the people know there's a great working relationship, and that's it's a breath of fresh air because for the last two years it's been very difficult. Right. And with Mike's administration, he's no nonsense guy. 
tells you like it is, wants the facts, and deals with them, and you have the support. And okay. when you have support in my yeah. position, it's phenomenal. Yeah. And, 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 and these were my opinions. You may beg to differ. And I'm going to squeeze in here that in this whole Citizens for DPW, nobody has ever said or denied that Eric Bartolo does an extremely effective job and always has. Anyhow, and when Bruce the Blog listens, people talk. Thanks for watching, and thank you to our guests.